He is a world-renowned painter, an illustrator, designer, and author. And uh, what we're going to talk about today, he is also a tattoo artist. And I have never, never, never talked to a tattoo artist before. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to learn all about this very popular art form. His name is Joseph Ari Alo. Aloy. Aloy. Oh, Aloy. Yes, Aloy. A.K.A. J.K. Five. One well, of many aliases. welcome to our show. Thank it's you really so much. It's really nice to have you here. So why has tattoo art become so, so popular now, do you think? I mean, it's in other cultures, in Africa, of course, in the islands, Papua New Guinea and all those other places, tattoo art was always part of a life ritual. Uh, does it still mean the same thing, body ornamentation? What does it mean? What is a tattoo? Well, um, I could answer that in, I think, a lot of different ways, but ultimately it's just a mark that one decides to etch that could be as simple as something they like that looks cool. It could have some, some deep, significant personal meaning. It could be any matter of imagery or design that, uh, that they're interested in, in adorning themselves with. Why do people want to draw on their skin? We are the only species... That, that doesn't have any sort of natural marking, pattern, plumage. <laughs> and uh, I think it's a really primal, deeply innate internal instinct to adorn, to decorate, to transform, to personalize. But we have makeup, we have paint, we have brushes. Yeah. We have all those things that can do temporary imagery on us. Right. Uh, we have hair. We do. Uh, that can grow and can be braided and whatever. That's true. Uh, but it always just puzzled me why humans want to indelibly enhance, and I call it enhancement because uh, up until a point it's, it is an enhancement, and why people actually do that to their skin. I think it's just an expressive instinct, and in the, in the, the craft, the process, the ritual has been with us since the beginning of time. I mean, the oldest mummified corpses and bodies were found heavily adorned. They were? Yeah, indeed. Oh, how, what would you get if you were to get if one? If I were going to get a tattoo? Yeah. Um, I'd probably have a quote from one of my favorite authors or something that I could read. I love that. Or, or very difficult equations, mathematical equations or something that nobody could understand. Right. Except for me. Secrets I would like on me. But I'm not going to do it. That's beautifully put. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not going to do it, but it's good to know. So you wrote a book. Rizzoli. I did. Yeah, this is my third book, my first monograph with Rizzoli. Yep, it's a beautiful book. Thank you so much. Yeah, the okay. book shows the best of my output in a variety and of forms drawings. and mediums going okay. back to right. 2003. Oh, no. Oh, I have so many more questions. I have so many more answers. Oh, my gosh. We're in JK5. Now, how do we That's get in touch wonderful. with you? Uh, you can contact me through the shop, Three Kings. Three Kings. Three Kings Green Tattoo Point. dot com, Greenpoint, Brooklyn, or just email me, jk5nyc at gmail dot com, okay. which is how most people get And your touch. book's available on Amazon and bookstores. Bookstores all uh, over the world, yeah. Uh, Joseph Ari Alloy, a.k.a. JK5. So you can... Uh, um, access this book uh, on Amazon or in bookstores, and you can really learn a lot by looking at your at your wonderful imagery. Thank you and so much. If you want a tattoo, Three Kings. Three Kings is the spot. Thank you very much for coming. Seven one eight. Thank you Thank very you. much, Martha.